well it's just a four sunrise I'm in the deep dark wood <laughs> and it's really scary I'm hoping to get some nice autumnal colours I didn't really get up at that time in the morning actually that was shot at the end of the day so this is the beginning of my evening foray into the woods hope you enjoy it Right, I like to use a defining rod to find where to place the tripod. So what you do is you hold it gently in your hand and then you go over the area. And when, when it starts to vibrate, this is where you have to place the tripod. It can also be used to help find good compositions. But you see how it's pointing at the tree there? It says shoot that. This is how you find compositions in the uh, in the woodland environment. Use what you have to, <laughs> what you have to hand. Use the natural substances of Mother Earth to help you find. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. Well, the bottom of another tree just encroaching into the bottom of the uh, the shot. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to clone that one out because I can't get further enough back, further enough back, back to have the canopy of the trees behind the main subject. So it's just a, everything just a compromise. So I'll just set this up and then wait for the light and take a picture then. As you can see, <laughs> the light is going up and down in in exposure range and brightness. And um, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get the edge of the woodland, you can't really see it on this view, but you can on the camera, is to this side. So it's the leaves coming along here and that will hopefully mask out the side. The side. I'll have to might have to clone in some more or crop the tree by here so I'm trying to get this uh, woodland path along here that's the plan <laughs> and someone with a dog coming <laughs> why can I never get any peace and quiet that there that's what I'll have to clone in or maybe have to crop out this side of the tree. Maybe off by those uh, stumps there and clone that little bit in there. So I hope you like this shot. Here it is.
Well, you get the general idea. Path leading off along here, up here for the, the boundaries, uh, off by about there. So you haven't got a lot of sky in the shot, and probably off about there, and off by about there. So that's what I think. So I'll just set the camera and shoot it. Right, what I've decided to do is to shoot one as wide as possible, about 60 millimeters in focal length, and then shoot one a bit tighter composition, how I normally like to shoot, uh, just because it gives you a better option if you want to sell them for book covers and things so the usual thing f11 at whatever the shutter speed is 100 iso two second timer put on live view and i'm going to do a a bracket round um two over and two under just in case i need to pull a bit more into the shadows or more dampen down the highlights a bit so that's the plan but with this sky what it is poking through is probably four stops brighter so it's probably just best to clone it out and quite the canopy is quite tight so there's only a few little patches of blue sky so i'm quite happy with that As you can see, I've did a creepy composition. So I'll focus on that bit there. And then I'm taking brackets to retain highlight detail and open up the shadows. And I'll just fire one off now. Because it's basically in the shade, it's uh, doing quite long exposures. Look, there's not, well, not much wind. There is wind though. Uh, it's still going. Exposure's still going. Let's do another one. And it's doing the overexposed one. Right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on probably that one there. like that and fire off again two second timer mirror lock up you know blah 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 usual thing and be quiet you sheep and see what happens so that's the overexposed one Oops, wrong way. That's the mid spores one. See how we get that glowiness round there, you see that's it. And the other exposures just, just to maybe put a bit back into these bits here. I might be able to extract it out of that one, but I'll just see how it goes. Oh, well, there we have it. So that's uh that's that. I better press on. And take something else. Yep. That's uh, how I was taking it, so you can see what uh, crop I was doing.
Well, ho hope you can hear me above the uh, nice relaxing noise of the road. And I've tried a one with a speckle highlight, so I set it as F16 to go for the old Sunstar. But uh, I've lost this nice bit of composition here, this um, little tor with the, hip, the hillock with the trees on, which I quite like. So what I'll do is I'll move back that way and then uh, wait till the sun sets and get one with the just the clouds and the silhouettes of the trees against the background. 